When used properly, herbicides rarely cause problems on non-target plants. However, these products can cause injury when applied inappropriately or when they drift away from the target areas as vapor or as very small droplets. Many plants are sensitive to phenoxy and benzoic herbicides. These act as plant growth regulators. Phenoxy herbicides include 2,4-D and benzoic herbicides include dicamba. These are widely used on lawns, turf, and roadsides. Many formulations of these chemicals can move as vapor from the site of application in concentrations high enough to damage sensitive plants. Some herbicides can be carried by wind as very small liquid droplets and cause damage as well. Applications of these herbicides to lawns and turf near sensitive plants also can cause significant damage through uptake by roots. Grapes, tomatoes, and redbud trees are among the most common plants that are extremely sensitive to 2,4-D and dicamba, but many other broadleaf plants such as walnuts and box elder trees have been known to suffer from severe damage as well. The majority of injury problems occur on sensitive vegetation right next to application sites. The risk of injury decreases as the distance between the application site and sensitive vegetation increases. However, because grapes are extremely sensitive to growth regulator herbicides and the use of these products is so widespread, vines may be injured several miles from the application site due to vapor drift. Timing of exposure has a significant effect on the amount of damage that occurs. When these herbicides are applied in early spring before trees and grapes bud out, or before tomatoes and other sensitive crops are transplanted, there's seldom any damage. However, when applications are delayed because of a cool, wet spring, they can coincide with rapid growth of sensitive plants and damage can be severe. In years with very warm springs, sensitive plants can be at a susceptible stage when these herbicides are applied and can suffer from severe damage as well. Exposure to growth regulator herbicides usually affects only new developing growth. Older growth will be normal and subsequent growth after the exposure may be normal as well. In grapes, damage usually shows up as distortion of the youngest leaves at the shoot tips. Typical 2,4-D damage consists of small, fan-shaped leaves with parallel veins. Damage to leaves and shoot tips is not always economically important. However, when exposure occurs before the grape plant sets fruit, clusters fail to develop normally. It's possible for a grower to lose the entire fruit crop. The loss of an acre of grapes can be $5,000 for that year, and the impact for wineries can be 10 times that amount. Severe damage leads to very stunted vine growth and may reduce yields in the following years. Several other crops and ornamental plants are sensitive to 2,4-D. Red buds frequently show damage. Exposure early in the growing season can cause severe distortion and stunting of growth. Exposure later in the year may cause distortion of only the most recently developed leaves. Symptoms on red buds are very similar to those on grapes. In tomatoes, broadleaf weed killers such as 2,4-D cause stunted and deformed new growth and whipping and curling of the leaves. Be aware that damage from late frosts, mites and insects, and viruses may all look like herbicide damage on plant foliage. It can be difficult to avoid damage from growth regulator herbicides. However, there are a few actions that can be helpful. Homeowners can avoid applying lawn herbicides such as the post-emergent broadleaf weed killers that contain 2,4-D and dicamba near sensitive plants. These products can be applied safely under most conditions, but be careful around desirable trees, shrubs, and flowers. There are a number of other things you can do to avoid damage from growth regulator herbicides. Do not apply insecticides or fungicides with a sprayer that has been used for weed killers. It's very difficult to remove all residue from a sprayer contaminated with 2,4-D. Then use formulations that are less susceptible to drift. The amine formulation of 2,4-D has less risk than the ester formulation. Wait for a calm day to apply herbicides with winds between 3 and 10 miles per hour or whatever the label requires. The light wind should be moving away from susceptible and desirable plants. The label has important information regarding application requirements to reduce risk to people and the environment. Also, keep application pressure very low and the nozzle directed downward as close to the target site as possible. The label may have information regarding pressure and nozzle sizes. Grape growers and others with sensitive crops can reduce problems by selecting varieties that are less sensitive to growth regulator herbicides, choosing sites that are isolated from crop fields, and planting windbreaks for protection. Talk to neighbors so they know you have sensitive crops 
and how they might reduce the risk of herbicide damage to your crops. One tool for communication with farmers and other pesticide applicators is the DriftWatch website. With this web-based tool, those who raise sensitive crops can identify their acreages so that pesticide applicators will know there is a risk in the area. Pesticide applicators can sign up for an automatic email notification whenever a sensitive crop is posted in the area they specify. The program was developed at Purdue University and is now used in several states, including Nebraska. Grower organizations, applicators, and agricultural chemical companies are all supporting this effort. Notify your neighbors if you have sensitive crops and find out if they have sensitive crops. Be careful about your own herbicide applications to reduce the risk of damage to plants on your own or neighboring property. I'm Jan Hingstrom with the University of Nebraska Extension Pesticide Safety Education Program.